Hey, what's up guys? Back on a more positive note this time. So today's video is going to be a time-lapse of a digital painting. This is a painting for the winner of my latest Instagram give giveaway. Uh, the prize was a digital pet portrait, so here I'm doing a painting of the winner's pony Goldie. Uh, she had some absolutely stunning reference pictures to work from, as you can see. Um, and you can actually buy these pet portraits of your own pets too. More info on that can be found in my Etsy store, there's a link in the description box. And you don't need any high quality photos for reference, I work off old crappy photos too, so that's fine. I also highly recommend that you go follow me on my social media so you don't miss any of my giveaways in the future. I'll link those below too. Uh, and if you have any wishes for prizes for upcoming giveaways, I'm open to suggestions. People seem to like these pet portraits, but maybe we could try something else too, like maybe some prints or art supplies. Uh, I do these pretty often, just my way of giving back for all the support and encouragement I keep getting. I'm very, very thankful for that. So the reason it took so long for me to get another vi video out uh, was actually mainly because I kept struggling with coming up with the topic to talk about. There's so much stuff I feel like I want to reflect on and this video really isn't that long. And I was almost ready to give up and just go with music when I was looking through my comments and realized uh, there's one topic I might have time for right now and that's expensive materials. I feel like it's something a lot of people comment on, especially in my Copic videos, uh, that it's too expensive and they feel like their art is crap because they can't afford expensive Copic markers or they only have some very affordable materials. Especially if you're very young, I understand your frustration, and here on YouTube it might seem like you need to have the latest, most expensive brands all YouTubers use. You really don't. Paying for very expensive materials doesn't magically teach you how to draw a nose or fur the way you want to. I can agree that sometimes more expensive, high quality stuff might be easier to work with, but I don't think it's necessary in any way. Uh, my mentality with art has always been to be curious and have fun with it, especially if you don't plan on selling the original piece. Uh, I think it's so much fun to just use what I happen to have at hand and see what I can do with it. A good example of that are my coffee paintings. Not only did I just whip out some very old paint brushes, I used some instant coffee I just happened to find, find in my kitchen and I had so much fun doing it. Another example I feel is worth mentioning is that when I was about 12 to 15 years old, uh, I only used graphite. It was enough. It was enough for me to get uh, the satisfaction of creating something on a blank canvas and practice shading and stuff like that. I can't remember owning anything else. Maybe some old watercolors, but I used to hate those back then. So, <laughs> Granted, the internet wasn't really what it is today and I didn't even know of all the different materials I could have been using, but I didn't need it either. So basically what I'm trying to say here guys is don't feel discouraged if you can't afford Copic markers or Prismacolors, which I still haven't gotten around to buying either by the way. It's not going to affect your drawing skills. And just because you don't use the same expensive materials as some other artists might use, uh, and therefore your art doesn't look the same, doesn't mean that you're a bad artist. Art is supposed to look different. There's supposed to be as many different art styles as there are artists. Just keep practicing and don't get too caught up in comparing yourself to others. Just have fun with it, you know? So that's all for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!